Unanimous consent to speak out of order. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. If I could have everyone's solemn attention, please. Uh, as many of you know, uh, this week is Law Enforcement Memorial Week. Uh, it's a time for us to, as I said earlier in the year, when we lost uh, four police officers in one shooting in Washington State, it's a time when all of us should stop and recognize and realize what our law enforcement family does for us each and every day. Those Capitol Hill police that are around us here in this building, outside these doors, the Washington, D.C. police officers who protect us to and from our place of work and to our homes and other places that we travel. We have a safe community as a result of men and women wanting to put themselves in harm's way and sometimes sacrificing their lives. I was one of those for 33 years, proud to say that. As a sheriff, deputy in 1972, finally as the sheriff before coming here to Congress, I am proud to be a part of the family, a law enforcement family. We are brothers and sisters, and being a police officer, as my friend, the sheriff from Indiana, Sheriff Ellsworth, knows, it transcends everything. The cop world doesn't mean being Democrat or Republican. Being a cop doesn't mean I'm a Catholic, I'm a Lutheran, I'm a Mormon. It doesn't mean any of those things. It means that we are men and women together as a family and a team, putting our lives on the line for people in this nation every day. And in this year, 126 police officers were killed in the line of duty. And in Washington State alone, we lost seven. And so I would join with my friend Sheriff Ellsworth, the two sheriffs in the House, uh, in a moment of silence, and I would yield time to uh, Sheriff Ellsworth. The gentleman from Indiana is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank my friend Sheriff Reichert, and it's appropriate to call him by the original title at this time, for yielding me that time. I, I would echo his comments. We, uh, everyone in this room uh, interacts with the Capitol Police every day. I know I made a friend in one, and he gave me a T-shirt that on the back says, you elect them, we protect them. And um, I, I wear that shirt proudly at home. But on this, on this serious day during National Police Week, it's important to know in this House, we talk a lot about our brave men and women in uniform that protect our country. And, we are normally talking about the members of the armed services, and that's absolutely appropriate. But during this week, I think we need to also think about the men and women in uniform who are out patrolling our streets, not just the Capitol Police, but at home in all of our districts that are working right now directing traffic, taking drug dealers off the streets, protecting our wives, protecting our families, protecting our husbands, protecting our citizens, citizens the people we represent. We should never forget them for their constant service, 24-7 service to us and all of our constituents. And so today, if we could honor them with a moment of silence for those who did pay the ultimate price, that did give their life in the line of duty, I would ask for that moment of silence from the House of Representatives. Members are asked to rise for a moment of silence in honor of our fallen law enforcement officers. Without objection, five minutes.